What's going on guys? So today we are reviewing some socks from Stance, so let's jump right into it. Now quick disclaimer, Stance did send me a few of these pair of socks, but the other ones I purchased and they did not ask nor did they pay me to make this video. I just want to give my honest thoughts and opinions on my experience with the socks. Alright, so I thought now would be a perfect time to do an updated review of the socks from Stance just because I bought six pair of these tab socks about a year ago. I reviewed them, but since then I've had a chance to test out the crew socks and the quarter socks and get a bigger feeling for the quality, the wear and tear and durability over time, and I've put them through a ton of workouts. So let's jump into how they perform, the difference between the socks and which pair is probably right for you. So first up you have the crew sock, this is going to be your typical sock that comes about mid shin. You have your quarter sock which comes a few inches above your ankle and then you got the tab socks which are basically ankle socks and then they have a little bit of a pull tab back to kind of protect that Achilles tendon in your heel. Now they do also have a no-show sock, but I don't typically wear that and I haven't tried them so they won't be a part of this review. Now there's going to be some variance throughout, not just from fit of the sock from ankle to crew, but also in the cushion, the material, and things like that. They're all basically a nylon blend. Now what the mid cushion gets you is a little bit extra padding, a little bit thicker material around those kind of pressure points of the feet. So you're going to get that around the heel and around the midfoot and the toe box area. Okay, now we can get to some of the fun stuff that's consistent across all their performance socks. And the first one up is Feel360, which is their technology that basically encompasses eliminating odor creating bacteria that's going to make your socks stay fresh even after multiple workouts. The other thing it's going to do is kind of regulate the temperature of your foot so it's not going to allow all that body heat to just make your feet get warm and hot and sweaty. And then the last thing it does is it wicks away that moisture keeping again your socks and your feet dry even on those hot sweaty workouts. Another great feature that they have across all their socks is Infinite which is their little trademark for basically a lifetime guarantee with the sock. So once you buy a pair, you pretty much know they're with you for life. If there's any rips, tears, issue with the product, they're going to make it right. They're going to replace it. And I like that because a company stands behind their product and you know once you spend the money, you make the investment on a high quality product, you know it's with you for life. And then the last detail that's consistent across all the socks is a seamless toe box, which again, just adds to the comfort and fit on a day-to-day -day basis. All right, now let's dive into my experience with these socks, because like I said, I've owned a lot of these pairs for over a year plus, so I've definitely put them through the paces through many, many, many workouts. So, how'd they do? So first up, and the most important thing, they stayed comfortable, which sounds simple, but when you're going out on an 80 degree, humid, long run, the last thing I want is midway to just feel like I'm getting blisters or feeling uncomfortable in my shoes and in my socks. These stayed comfortable, they stayed dry, even as you know my shirt, my shorts are soaked with sweat, my toes felt comfortable, my feet felt good, which is important. The other important thing for me personally is, since I'm a hybrid athlete, meaning I lift weights six days a week, I run four or five days a week, I need a sock that I can run and lift in. So I need something that can do two a days. I don't want to have to change two, three pairs of socks all in one day. I want to be able to lift in them, go run in them, and they still hold up. And they did. So they've been my go-to for those two-a-day workouts when I do need to balance from one to the other. They've stood up to it. They don't get bunched up or stretched out from one workout to another, which is something I've dealt with with other brands of socks. They stay comfortable. They keep their form. And again, they just, they last. There's no wear and tear. I've had them for over a year. There's no tearing. There's no ripping. There's no seam issues. The only thing I'll say with the fit, and this is what I mentioned in my original stance review, is the tab on the tab socks is a little big for my liking. I made the mistake of actually cutting the tab to try and almost make them just an ankle sock. And it didn't ruin the sock. It's still fine. But the tab has started to grow on me. I still think it's a bit high. It's like a full inch higher than kind of where your shoe, the outer kind of part of your shoe is. But again, like I said, it's growing on me a little bit. It's not a huge detractor, but something to consider, something to mention. And then on the flip side of things with the crew sock, they actually fit perfect. This is gonna sound silly and maybe it's just me, but a lot of times I get a pair of crew socks and if you pull them all the way up, they're like, you know, high on your shins, right? So you have to shimmy them down a little bit so they get that right fit mid shin. These fit perfect. I can pull them up all the way. I don't have to bunch them up around the ankle. I pull them up, they're mid shin, perfect, ready to go, which to me looks better, feels better. It's just what I want, it's the right fit. So how much do these suckers cost? Well, 
depends a lot between the type of sock you get and the design. They do a lot of really cool designs, collaborations, and stuff like that that definitely makes you want to buy those, but those socks tend to be a little bit more expensive. So typically it's about $11 to $15 per pair. And you can get them a little bit cheaper, again, if you buy them in a collection or you buy them in a set, a pack of three. I did that when I bought my tap socks originally. So anywhere in that kind of ballpark, though, is the price range. Now, are they worth the price? To me, yes, mainly because they might be a little bit more expensive than your Reebok sock, your whatever off of Amazon. But to me, one, you're paying for a premium product and it's definitely delivering on that promise. And the biggest thing is, too, with an infinite guarantee, you know that they're gonna be with you for life, you're gonna get taken care of if they tear, if they get worn down after workouts because they made that promise to you. So, you're getting a high quality product and you have it for life essentially. Now if you found this video helpful and you are interested in getting a pair of socks from Stance, I'll leave a link down in the description and in the comments below. Helps me out, so if you use it, I appreciate it. That's it for this video. If you have any questions about the fit, feel, performance, anything about the socks at all, you can leave it in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.